Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be filming this for you guys. It's a Q&A video that I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. If you didn't get a chance to ask me, it's okay. There's always gonna be another chance. But there's a few questions that I am going to be answering today and I am super happy that you guys participated in this video and mostly a lot of questions are kind of similar but they're very very um i'm sure they're gonna help a lot of you guys so if you want to see or hear the questions and answers continue watching if you are new to my channel welcome i'm myra and i am very passionate about teaching others how to do nails and a lot of other things like you know in general with business or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions and kind of get to know me too and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and i hope you enjoy this video okay so the first question is what motivates you to be better every day hmm it's hard to answer that question just because i feel like i should be doing more and more and more even now that i already do a lot um, I just want to see how far I can go and I know that I'm my I have a lot of potential to do a lot of things and everyone does it's just how bad do you want certain things what motivates me is to become a better person to help others to be an example to be an inspiration to just you know push others dig deeper into them and let them know that anything is possible whatever it is that you put your mind to your heart to that it is possible because if i'm doing it i'm sure you can do it too and i could say just just like that just helping others and helping is a big part of me like i love to help people so that would be my answer to that one and then it says would you book me when i go this is one of my old clients yes of course of course i will Whenever you're my client, and especially when you were my client since I was working from home, definitely. Do you have a crazy, any crazy client stories? Hmm, I was thinking about that one and I don't have crazy clients. Maybe they're just, I have fun times with my clients. Crazy times in the sense like they're hilarious, yes, but not like crazy experiences. Um, I remember one time that I wanted to quit doing now that I had just started just because it was a difficult client and mostly they're just like complaining about simplest things alrighty so as I was saying about my crazy clients yeah I don't think that I was that moment when I was gonna quit it's just they were being super 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 picky and I just can't work like that I understand you want something like perfect and stuff but it's like uh, I'm sorry I'm really starting and I want to practice and I can't have that pressure on me but thankfully you know whatever happened happened with that client um i ended up not doing her nails anymore just because it was too much for me and then i have what monomer do you use i use the young nails a lot of everything i use is pretty much young nails like the powder the acrylic system and all that stuff is young nails what's a good electric nail drill for beginners for beginners i would say the mani pro by koopa i will put it on the description below me i use that one for years right now i'm using the passport from koopa this one is really good too but it's more for you know advanced users you, beginners can use it as well but i think this one is like really really powerful and the price difference is huge too so it's really up to how much you want to spend invest not spend because this one lasts a long time as well as the Mani Pro. How long, how did you gain your clients? I've been doing nails for about nine months. So I get that a lot. Um, clientele is built. You don't gain a clientele by just sitting or doing nails. You gain it by posting pictures, you know, taking good quality pictures, being the good person, you know, good person, good tech to your clients, caring about your client, being um on time being persistent with getting trying to get clients you know maintaining a clientele clients are you know just treated like this how you want to be treated treat your client like that and you're going to continue going they're going to continue coming to you because you treat them well um thankfully i am blessed to have so many clients and they are consistent clients and the reason why i might have them is just because the way I treat them, I would like to be treated. I always think about my clients first. How are they gonna feel in this situation? How are they gonna like this? What if I do this? 
you know anything like that so think of it like that and maybe you'll start to maintain a clientele um, let me see for example like your hair you know when you go get your hair done if your client your hairstylist treats you amazing you're gonna go back to her so look at what she did to you or how she talked to you if she conversated with you and things like that and that is definitely an impact and they're gonna that's gonna separate you from the other person so you got to think about that stuff too it's not hard it's just time um the next one how long have you been doing nails for so i started when i was 13 and now i'm 24 so about like 11 years yeah um professionally like from the salon i've been doing it for three years um but see i started doing them as a hobby i never my intention was never to become a nail tech ever um i'll sh share the story with you guys in a little bit just because um i had that question earlier i feel like i have a hair but um then it says can you do a review on the one two three go nail by l e nail couture couture so that's pretty much kind of like the oppress and i did a live video the other day about the oppress it's very challenging and i do have another one but i'll get definitely give that a try because i did look at them and they're um it's very different than oppress in a way but definitely we'll check it out and then let's see what inspired you to become a nail technician um a funny story is because that I, like I said, I, my goal, my dream was always to be a teacher. I was always, I'm gonna be a teacher. When I was little, I would play and do teaching, you know. And my aunt, one day she came from Mexico and she brought a kit from Mexico, which was organic nails kit. And I was just curious and I said, hey, can I try it out? Girl, from there, every day, every day using it her acrylic practice let me practice on you let me do that and she didn't budge she didn't say nothing thankfully she was all for it um i don't even think she she likes it but she's not like she tells me i don't know i want to do it but i don't but even to this day i'm so happy and appreciative of her bringing that kit into my life just because that maybe who knows maybe i wouldn't have been exposed to it and i wouldn't have never thought about it but i just it's just a simple kit that had everything and from there I watched YouTube videos every day, you know, every single day you guys would hear me playing Lovey Snails, Organic Nails, oh my goodness, I was obsessed, in other words. Then I started my YouTube channel on in 2011 and just to, you know, I've always been into like recording or teaching like I said, so I just posted it and whatever and I never thought it would be like this, how it is now and yeah that's how i got started and eventually my friends were like oh who does your nails and i was like uh me but i was very shy and timid that i was like oh, i don't want to say anything but me and then my friend forced me to do her nails and ever since then it's just been like you know doing nails um up and down like consistent everyday friends families clients people that I didn't know and I was just like oh my god I think I actually want to do this sorry guys let me mute this down but um yes so it's been a process like I said 11 years there's a whole background to it I worked you know I went to school I did nails after school I would work out in my porch in my aunt's living room in my uh, we had a trailer I would do nails there um, when it was in my house it was in my living room um, in my garage it has been a really long process but thankfully I am blessed to now have the salon and everything has been a process and everything has been you know pretty much coming together as this and I absolutely love it. I love teaching you guys. Like I said, teaching has always been my passion. So I guess in all, on all odds, I became a teacher in a way, like teaching you guys. I teach seminars, which I do have one coming up and it's gonna be a dual one with Steph Nails. And you guys definitely need to check that out. It's on my Instagram if you guys wanna join. And I will have other ones more, you know, coming up more often. But that was the, what made me become a nail tech. And it says, when will you have your next class and can you under age of 10? Whenever I do classes, guys, it's no no requirements whatsoever. Under age, anything. Licensed, not licensed, whatever you, you know, 
it doesn't matter I don't require anything I just require your willingness to learn and your you know it's something that you you're driven to learn more or you know just the willingness to learn new things or get outside your box so that way you can maybe you don't you know you want to be an L tech but you're just too scared or too shy to put yourself out there definitely get out of your box and you will be fine and I say that in a all good good way you know same thing when will you be having a seminar soon that's on March 15th like I said click on my Instagram and I'll put the flyer too so you guys can see and it's limited seating so definitely check it out and it's a dual one you guys will be learning a lot what's a good powder that you recommend that's not so runny mmm I say the Young Nails is really like my all-time favorite and I use the speed one so maybe that's kind of like it dries up a little bit faster so definitely try that one out if you want to see how it works and this one's a funny question that I had me cracking up if we can't see air do you fish the water uh, I'm guessing no because it's clear <laughs> I don't know I can't believe you asked that question it made me really think I don't know are you by appointment only yes I did appointments only because it's hard to um, take walk-ins in the sense like I would be overwhelmed. I wouldn't be able. It's, I don't know how people do it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like people waiting and you know waiting for their turn. I'd be like, oh, I'm almost done. Uh, I'd rather have you set an appointment that way it's all well organized, pretty much. How clean? How do you clean your nail brushes? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. Um, honestly, I just clean it with monomer, and then I just obviously throw that monomer away afterwards. Um, there is brush cleaners that I do have that I don't use, <laughs> but my my actual mo like with let's say art brushes and anything like that, 3D brushes. I no art brushes with acetone, 3D my Kalinsky brushes. I use monomer. If acrylic gets stuck on the brush, then I use a brush cleaner that dissolves all the acrylic and leave it there, soak it up, and then it kind of puts it back together. Don't throw your brushes away, especially if they're really expensive brushes. There's a way to clean them. I'll probably do a video on that one. What was one of your biggest challenges with your first when you first started building up your business? Um, let me see. That one is a good one. It's actually, um, let me see. Building up my business. I don't know if you mean in the sense of the whole salon or the clients. I'll give you guys an S both ways. Building a business is hard in the sense that you have to have a, a plan. You have to have money. You have to have, you know, things planned out. What do you want to use? What do you want to have? What, how do you want to decorate it? Where do you want it? Um, everything. It's just when I was in school because I went to school after I had already been doing now so I kind of just wasn't learning too much at school so I just was planning the business artistry now and that's when I had the chance to think about it like you know how do I want it what kind of tables this that that everything was planned there um, but definitely need to think about like, everything you want how do you want your you know your text to not dress but like i do black because black is very clean and classy and it distinguishes you from the client in the sense like oh um you know and, I, and i'm not saying anything is bad if you wear any color that's completely fine it's just the way i like it and like i said it's however you want to do it um but as far as clients building up clients um like i said just care about your clients provide them with the best quality best products everything you do make sure you do it in terms of it being done to you so just treat your clients well and they will stay um let's see and it's it's like i said it's not easy it's a process don't give up if you know if you love this you will not give up and if, if you're really really passionate about it you need to be consistent with posting like i said building your yourself as tech um, make sure your pictures are nice and clear because everybody you know looks at Instagram post everything um, every everything everything matters guys why do some nails lift it's so annoying it's not necessarily you um, it could be the tech not the tech uh, the clients you know their nail beds are pretty oily they work with water a lot or they mess with them or they you know 
I have a client that she's always missing these two nails, but we found out the reason because she's always using her keyboard, but she, instead of using her nail, her actual fingertip, she uses the nail. So after so much pushing and pushing, you know, using it constantly, your nail's gonna lift. And it's just, you know, what depends on what you're doing that you need to ask that too. It's like, okay, so what do you do? Do you do this? Do you use water a lot? Do you, anything. There's so many reasons why nails lift. But for the most part, make sure you're, if you're doing proper application, your nails, not that they shouldn't be lifting, but they will not lift in that sense. And you just gotta dig deeper in to see why. Don't blame yourself. Maybe it's the client. Let's see, where did you go to school for nails? How long did it take? I went to Cosmo Beauty Academy in Sacramento and it was a two and a half month, no, 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 I'm lying to you. Two and a half months is if you're doing full time. I had four and a half months. And it's not a long process, guys. It's so, that's why it's so recommended to just go. Just get it over with. Um, you won't regret it at all. And I love that school, it was good. Was it hard to do designs when you first learned? Like how long did it take to learn them? And same for stones, it didn't fit. Oh, um, it's hard in a way that, depending on what you're working with, if you're working with acrylic. Me, I'm still not so great at art, which is not bad. Everyone is different, guys. That's what you guys need to keep in your head. Not everyone is the same. Not everyone has the same style. Not everyone is good at everything. Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses. My weakness is art. Um, anything else, put me to the test and I'll do it. I'll try art, but it's it's not something that I'm, you know, my forte. But definitely continue practice, that's all. I always say practice, practice, practice. Practice makes progress. Not perfect progress because nobody is perfect. How long did it take you to if efficiently grow your clientele and business so I already answered that one but I'm gonna say like um it took years it didn't build in a month or two it was years maybe like one two three years four years if I'm gonna say maybe the fifth year it was like consistent back to back and it changes you know it goes up and down the same client you get new client to get and there gets to the point like right now I can't take any new clients which it sucks in the way that people want to come to me but I can't because I have my regulars which I'm blessed with and I love but um, you know and little things like that it's not that you don't want to how did you start your business as your own business at such a young age and what motivated you to do it um, I've always been a business like minded person in a way that I've always wanted to own my own something I didn't know what and when I started doing nails I was working for a shower door company and I was a project manager and ever since then I was like you know what I was just it was always in my mind in the back of my head like I can do this I can open this up I can do this like you know always thinking about stuff like that and when I got into school that's when I was like you know what maybe I should open up my own salon because there's not a lot of salons that do what I do or like that provide certain stuff like for example serve mimosas um, give the same quality the same experience as a regular nail salon would so that was what motivated me to do it and also because I like to um, give people a better experience than what they've been experienced before or they have experienced before because I hear a lot of stories and I also enjoyed the whole business part of it. It's just a, a whole nother level of responsibility and just, it's fun because I treat this like my home. It's my home, I decorate it how I want it. Um, you know, little things like that. So my, what motivated me also was being um, able to help out more towards my family. Like I've seen my dad work so many years and he's still working. And my goal is to one day be able to retire him. You know, he's worked so much since he was a baby that I think he deserves that. And they've been so supportive towards me quitting my job, to get into school, to do nails. And they've always never ever budged in a way of me doing nails at home, ever. And I am so grateful for that because I know a lot of people that want to start their business or their nail career, they don't even, their husband, their boyfriends, their 
whatever parents don't allow them to do nails at home and I'm very grateful for that that my parents never stopped me they never said no don't bring strangers to the house nothing like that and it's scary you know which is why it's always better to if you you have that problem to go to school and just get your license so that you can start off at a salon that way you know you, you won't um, you're still doing what you love, but from an actual salon and not from home that you're not able to. So the next one, I don't have a question on the process. I was wondering if you take enough clients. <laughs> I'm not, I'm sorry. Why are you so cute though? She's funny, she's my client. <laughs> when, you ha when are you having nail classes? I already answered that one. I am going to be doing one-on-ones as well, private classes, and maybe even travel lead classes. Um, definitely, if that's something you guys would love for me to do, I am absolutely all in for it because I love traveling, I love teaching, and I love helping anyone and meeting new people. So comment below if that's something one-on-ones, I'll, you know, definitely be up for it. Why do you... <sighs> My aunt, she's funny, she said, why do I record and drive? I was at a red light. Hablas Español? Yes, I do speak Spanish. I am Mexican, so si sí, hablo Español. Mis videos en Español are a little bit, you know, eh, working on it, but I'm going to progress. Well, when will you take new clients? I'm still not sure right now. It's very full and it's I'm overwhelmed in the sense, in a good way, you know, but um, not as of right now. That's just going to be my answer because I don't know when I will be. Um, let's see. I wanted to know the process. Oh, do you have to go to school to be licensed or can a licensed tech offer one offer one classes? How is the process to be licensed in California? Is it expensive? How's business? Have you had any struggles like to adapt having a salon? How long did it take you to get a full-time agenda? I wanted to know because in Puerto Rico, they're not strict. I've heard in California there are in US. That was the one person but asking all these questions um, so do you have to go to school to be licensed? Yes. I was listening to an audio the other day and Young Nails posted it and they said that there's some states that don't require a license or like I believe Canada. I don't know which one it was. Don't call my word for it because I don't know if that's true but do your research for the state that you live in and definitely see all the rules just because I don't know. I know California you have to be licensed no matter if you're working from home or you know at a salon you have to be licensed um it's not expensive i know it can be expensive depending on the school that you go to my schooling was 2500 that's excluding the products that i purchased after they wanted us to buy like the kits and stuff so maybe like around three thousand dollars um and yeah definitely if you want to figure out what it is and like what things you need to do for your state um definitely um google it check it it doesn't even take you know just make sure just because i don't know i don't really know i don't know for the california or the states not even all the states but you know just california um like i said for to get a full agenda it was years it it was years it for sure barely like maybe like two years ago i was like okay i'm set i cannot take any more clients and i was working a lot i work from tuesdays through saturdays and sometimes even mondays I only have Sunday off, which is really not a day off because I do a lot of other things behind that. But definitely keep yourself busy, guys. How's business? Have you had any struggles like to adapt to having a salon? No, business is great. Um, right now, I do. I am looking for nail techs. So if you're in California, anywhere near my salon, definitely reach out to me. I am looking for talented, self-motivated, amazing techs, you know, that would love to work aside of me. Um, I, I, I am in the search of tags, you know, um, and it's, it's, I am so happy and blessed to have a salon, you know, business is great, I love it, um, I haven't had any struggles, but it, I mean, struggles do arise in the sense like, little things here and there, having a lot more responsibility, you know, having no rest, just endless things to do, but like I said, I love the whole process of it, I'm a busy body, I just don't stop, and so it's not it's not horrible for me like I enjoy it um, I'm always busy I get off work I get on the phone and do this and that and then 
doing it just keep in mind if you do want to own a salon at one point it's possible but it is a lot of work um definitely keep that in mind don't think it's going to be a piece of cake because it's not it's going to be a whole lot of work to do you're going to be in the salon all the time to a point where it's up to you if you want to even do nails you know but definitely a lot of work to put in keep that in mind um and i was what made you get into the industry what made you get into the industry that was my aunt and then of course i will another thing now that i mentioned that that they mentioned that um definitely when i was little i would get the pistachio shells and i would glue them and paint them red so they kind of look like almond shaped nails so i guess i've always enjoyed the nail stuff but i never knew it so it was always in me but i never thought about it because in my head i wanted to be a teacher until then my aunt you know brought me this kit and i just started doing it and trust me guys i was working with a brush this big and you can do it i'm telling you guys anybody can do it okay let's see how old are you i'm 24 and let's see another another question i'm visiting long beach soon is it far from your location long beach is uh, I guess I'm gonna say it's like six hours five depending on how fast you drive LA is not that far from here um, I love LA so it's like maybe like five to six hours depending on how fast you drive what is the best advice you can give to a starting nail tech like to improve in improve or in anything um don't um, just keep doing what you're doing push yourself learn new techniques learn new designs just be patient because as a nail technician you are gonna be and in general the beauty industry not everybody is gonna want to go with you so make them want to come with you why because I'm gonna experience a different experience if I come to you I offer different stuff I do this I do that my shaping is amazing I care about your nail I protect your nail I don't just yank them off I soak them off everything matters remember that guys everything matters so like i said um it also depends on what exact you know the best advice would be never give up there's a struggle surpass it you are getting frustrated with the acrylic girl you better figure it out because if you really really want to do this you're going to figure it out just keep in, keep on doing it and practice and practice until you get to the desired um, point where you're like I love these nails. I love these nails. I want them on myself and my client is satisfied. What was the easiest, hardest part of doing, learning to do nails? Um, uh, that's hard. Learning, maybe the, just, a, I think everyone struggles with the, having the control over the powder and liquid ratio where it's not too runny and it's perfect consistency. I would say that would be my, my hardest part of learning how to do nails and besides the art, and shaping shaping i and i'm still hard on myself for that one but it's definitely a process for that mm, the best nail drill i showed you guys what are the basic necessities as a nail tech starting nail tech i always recommend you guys to get the young nail starter kit why because it has everything it's pretty much the kit i got started with when i first started doing nails which was an organic nails kit not a young nails but it's the same thing it has the protein bond the liquid the powders the brush the files the tips the glue everything needed for a nail set and it's under a hundred dollars if you're licensed or if you're not licensed no you can't buy it if you're not licensed but if you know anybody that's licensed definitely have them purchase it for you i usually offer my people that i are in town if they are um they want to start off you know just help them out definitely if this, especially if they're really serious about it um when you decided to do your own was that more difficult or more easy to do mm, it wasn't difficult i knew there was going to be a process and i knew that it was going to be a big responsibility but i love that i just it's just so weird i don't even know how to describe it i love putting in work and i love working towards something that's gonna you know be be um useful to others if i'm not if i make any sense let's see is it hard running your own business not hard but it's just a lot of 
time like it's just you're gonna be here all the, all the time let me just put it that way I'm here on Sundays I'm here on Mondays either redecorating fixing cleaning replenishing replenishing yeah Re you know restocking everything you're on the store you're doing this I need to do that so definitely it's a lot of time put into it um, not hard at all in the sense like if you're if you're not if you're not scared of responsibility it won't be hard when are you going to do another class um i already mentioned it on march 15th is a sunday definitely check out on that one if you want to join um let's see so my problem inside is, is the side okay so my problem is the side by the free edge they always lift not enough acrylic um it could be that or just that it gets on the skin or the glue maybe so definitely give check that out how whatever you think might be when let's see how is your life now as a business owner i let me just give you an example i get i wake up like to go to the gym i have to get up at four to go to the 5 a.m or 6 a.m class be out of there by 7 to get ready to be here by 8.30 because my first client is at 9. Um, so, and I'm here all day till the, my last client. Sometimes I'm here till 7, sometimes 8. It just depends. Um, how is the process of opening your salon, getting permits, hiring people? So the process of opening a salon, of course, you have to get your business license. You have to look for a good location, make sure everything is good everything as far as ventilation um flooring make sure you get good flooring because there's some flooring that doesn't go with products like if you drop acetone if you drop acrylic um powder not powder monomer um little things like that um just having a good design on the way you want it to look um hiring people you know either you do commission depending on whatever state you do if they still allow that hourly or renting stations to me renting stations is a lot more lenient on you in the sense of not a lot of responsibility so it's totally up to whatever you want to do you know you they have control their schedule they control whatever their it's their own business in a business so definitely depending on how you want to do it and i think when are you having your next class i already said that how do you recommend to take off acrylics without hurting the nail bed? Soak them off. Whenever you have nail acrylics, make sure you file the top coat and then soak off the nails. So definitely with 100% acetone. And I think that's it, guys. I'm so happy you guys were able to um, answer, ask questions. Let me see. I think, I believe someone, oh no, that's it. Where did you go to be just gone? How long did it take? Okay, I already answered that one. Alrighty guys, so I am super happy that I was able to do this video for you guys. Remember, if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to see some video, comment below. I'm always looking at your comments even if I don't respond instantly. I will and I see them. Thank you all so much for watching and being a support. You know, whether you're watching the videos and I'm hopefully I'm able to help you guys in your nail career. And I enjoy posting these videos for you guys as much as I love seeing everyone else post videos. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Again, if you guys want to know anything about anything, just definitely comment below. Remember to like this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your guys' day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.